Alright, so this how to swing an ice tool thing is confusing people, so I thought I'd make a little video, a bit of video about it. Start that again. Got reasonably tight on me just so people <coughs> probably doing this right after a workout is not the best time to do this, but the swinging an ice tool thing is confusing people, so here's how to swing a leashless ice tool. What's confusing most people is you hang on to a leashless ice tool with your hand in that position. So your knuckles are basically 90 degrees to the axis of the shaft of the tool. That's how you hang on to an ice tool. But if you try and swing an ice tool like that, you can't bend your wrist at all. So you got to turn your hand about 15, 20 degrees, open these two fingers up, and this creates kind of a groove that you can look out for the ice tool to swing in there. And then you can swing, and if you look about how much motion your wrist has in that position, it's a lot compared to here, you know, something else you do like this, I'm not going to go into, but you got to get the wrist motion going like that. And that's how to swing an ice tool with a leashless tool. So you swing here, then once you've got it set in, then you grab on like that. So swing, just kind of loosen that hand off so your ice tool can pivot, grab, pump you wrap it around like that but I see most people climbing with their hands their fingers at 90 to the tool make sense right on it's all about the